What's going on, everybody? It's Jake, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to level up one-handed, two-handed, and yes, even archery. Let's get right into the video. Now, like always, guys, you're going to want to go to the Guardian Stones to get that sweet, juicy 20% extra XP, and you're going to want to make sure to sleep in a bed for another 10% bonus experience if you want to know how to get even more bonus experience than that watch this video or click this playlist in the card let's head to our first location the watt run stables ladies and gentlemen i cannot talk highly enough about the watt run stables thousand dollars you get yourself a nice beater of a horse that you can take out into the middle of nowhere and brutally beat just to level up a few skills in a video game you're going to come up to my main man's here Skolvar. This is Skolvar. Skolvar. And he's gonna, you're going to talk to him, ask him if you can buy a horse, and he's going to sell you one for a thousand gold. So we're going to go on here and get on Jake and Dill's horse and ride it off into the sunset where we are going to brutally beat it. Like I said earlier, editor's note, sometimes the horse will walk away after you get off of it. All you have to do is reload the save, buy the horse again, and that fixed it for me. We will come right here. Looks like a good spot. We're going to go ahead and dismount the horse. Now, one thing that will make this a lot easier is if you go on ahead, come over here to your settings, go to gameplay, and make sure you're on legendary difficulty to give your horse more HP. And then you're going to want to go into your own inventory. Obviously, get your weapon of choice, a one-handed or a two-handed weapon there. And then you're off and you're going to go to restoration, and you're going to want to spell healing hands. You can buy that from any kind of a vendor that is a mage or that sells spell tubes the reason you're going to want that is the higher level weapon you have and the better weapon you have the more damage it's going to do to your poor horse and if you can get it down to a certain point come on as you can see we're leveling up pretty quick but if you get down to a certain point you can then just heal it right back up and you don't have to wait that way and that is the method for one and two handed i know not a very good method but it's one of the only ones outside of buying your levels that you can do in the game. On to archery. Okay, so for archery, you're obviously going to need a bow and arrow. You don't have to have any specific one, but this one here fires 30% faster. It's going to be a little bit better. Once again, we are going to travel up here to High Hrothgar, located here on the map. Now that we're here at High Hrothgar, it'd be a nice time to mention, like in the video, so you can come back later if you can't remember this very simple guy. On to something completely different. So now, we're going to come up here to a random guy here. doesn't have to be a specific one. But we're going to come up to him and sneak and shoot him in the back. Now you might be asking, Jake, why in the world are you sneaking for? Obviously, because we don't want him to know. But you do two times damage with sneak attacks. And you can make that more and more and more. So, the more damage you do in Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen, the more XP you get. So, the better arrows you use, the better bow you use, and the more sneak attacks you can do, and the more different perks that you have in the sneak tree is going to be the more XP that you get. So, this is really a two-skill guide for this one. A four-skill guide in all. Don't you feel like you're getting a good deal yet? If you didn't feel like you got a good deal, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And feel free, if you want an even better deal, to watch this video right here for some AFK leveling. That's right, AFK. Thank you all so much for all the support lately here on the channel. Don't forget to like the video. But above all else, thank you for your time and have a blessed day.